What's up y'all, Sci-Fi here, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about five things to know about engraving. Now, if you just recently hit level 50 and you're starting to see those purple rocks pile up in your inventory, this video is going to help you understand the importance of them, as well as some other things you should keep in mind. If you already know all this stuff, be sure to share it with someone who doesn't. But without further ado, let's get started. First, let's go over a basic breakdown and talk about what engravings are. Engravings are special effects that can be applied to your character that improve the effectiveness of certain abilities or characteristics such as increasing the damage of attacks other than back and frontal attacks with the Hitmaster effect or reducing your awakening skills cooldown with the awakening effect. Each effect has three levels with the effect becoming more powerful at each level. To view all of the engravings and their effects, access the engraving effect window by pressing Alt and I, or you can click roster on the bottom right, then engraving effect. While here, you can hover over each engraving to check out its benefits at each level and get a feel for which direction you want to start grinding towards. Now, if you want to view any effects that are currently applied to your character, press P or click character on the bottom right, then character profile. Here, you can also see the three levels with diamonds underneath. These diamonds are called nodes, and your goal is to fill or unlock each node to increase your level for that effect. In order to do this, you'll need to equip accessories and ability stones or acquire and read engraving recipe books, which are things we'll go over later in this video. But not only is engraving a mechanic that will drastically improve your character's abilities, taking advantage of learning the ins and outs early on will only help as you take on even more challenging content at endgame. Speaking of learning early on, let's move on to the next topic and talk about engravings and ability stones. Ability stones are a resource you begin to acquire well before you reach level 50. And if you've been collecting these little purple rocks and wondering what use there is for them, this tip is for you. Ability stones are very important and they provide a bonus to your vitality as well as effects from engravings. Once acquired, you may notice it can be equipped. This is because ability stones must be faceted a process where an Ability Stone Cutter polishes the stone to activate the effects, allowing you to equip it. To begin faceting, find the Ability Stone Cutter in any major city. Their icon on your map will be a blue gem. Once in the menu, clicking any stone in your inventory on the left side would allow you to begin faceting on the right. On the right, you'll see the two positive engravings and one negative engraving. You might notice there are also unfilled nodes under each effect, along with a pickaxe and a fee of silver next to that. Clicking the pickaxe on any effect will cause you to spend some silver to attempt to fill a node, resulting in increased effectiveness of the ability. Keep in mind, each attempt has a success rate and a chance of cracking that will increase or decrease at every try. This is going to make the process random. Also, faceting won't be completed until all attempts, including the cracks, are carried out. So be sure to check those rates. That way you can try to aim for the maximum amount of nodes to be filled for the positive effects, and hopefully none for the negative. Once complete, the results screen will show you the number of successful facets as well as what additional effects apply. While only one stone can be equipped at a time, don't be afraid to begin faceting and switching them out early on as they can potentially provide the most amount of points towards your engravings, allowing you to activate them at the highest levels. Moving on, let's talk about engravings and accessories because while you're getting used to faceting, you may realize that most of the time you're not going to activate as many nodes with just one ability stone. This is when making use of the accessories come into play. As you defeat mobs and bosses, do your dailies, complete quests, and other content in Lost Ark, you'll acquire accessories such as necklaces, earrings, and rings that'll come with random engraving effects. Hover over these accessories to view the effects and how many nodes will be filled if you decide to equip it. But keep in mind that combining that ability stone with accessories that also have that same engraving effect is what maximizes how many nodes are filled, resulting in those increased levels. And this is what will make checking out the accessories you acquire important as opposed to focusing only on the basic effects you receive. So next time you're out there looting, be sure to keep an eye out on what effects you can gain. Number two, custom engravings. Along with finding random engravings attached to ability stones and accessories, custom engravings will allow you to manually apply two specific engravings to your character. During the first topic, we went over how you can view all of the engravings in the engraving effect menu. 
While here, you may have noticed two tabs, the Combat Bonus and the Class Bonus tab. The Combat tab shows you engravings that can be equipped with any class, and viewing the Class tab will show effects specific to the class you're playing with. Underneath each engraving, you'll see a number out of 20. This number relates to how many engraving recipe books you'll need to find and read to unlock the effect. These books can be acquired throughout your daily sessions and come in different rarity tiers, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary. Keep in mind that each tier, you'll need to read 20 recipe books to advance to the next tier. And you must follow them in order, so you'll need to start by reading 20 uncommon books, then 20 rare, 20 epic, 20 legendary. And although it may sound like a grind, you're going to acquire these by completing content such as side quests, dungeons, towers, even just exploring islands. Also, the great thing about custom engravings is that once they're unlocked, it's unlocked for all of your characters on that server. Now that you know the important tips about engraving, let's move on to the last tip and talk about starting early. Early on, you'll begin collecting ability stones, accessories, and engraving recipe books. And although you'll focus on these more once you hit level 50 and begin progressing through tiers one, two, and three, it's a good idea to get used to them at the earlier level so you're prepared once you get there. Be sure to check out all of the engravings that can be applied, maybe even begin collecting and saving engraving recipe books until you decide how you wanna progress. This will save you a ton of time once you hit level 50 because you won't have to go back and play through various content to acquire any of those resources. One huge thing to keep in mind is that recipe books, accessories, and ability stones can be placed into your personal or roster storage. That way you can transfer these to your alternate characters or you can save them for yourself for later. This means you can always come back. Also, along with rewatching this video, in game you can always click guide on the bottom right, then training area, this will transport you to an area where you can walk through a step-by-step -step guide on engraving, faceting, and even ability stones. So if you're ever in game and you want a quick refresher, be sure to check it out as you can practice as many times as you want until you feel comfortable with trying and spending your own money in game. But not only will starting early give you that jump start on building your knowledge with engraving, one of the biggest benefits is that it's going to relieve some of the stress of hitting level 50 and having to put this and other mechanics to use to battle even more epic bosses. You'll also use this to begin the journey of increasing your item level, so it's very important to get started early if you can. And that's all I got for y'all today. Thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, if you think that there's something that I missed, be sure to drop a comment what you think is a great tip that should be on this list. Also, you can find us on Twitch and Twitter under the username PlayLostArc. But for now, I'm Sai, and from everyone here at Amazon Games, stay safe, have fun, and keep gaming. Peace.